Sounds like a load of shit to me. Ow! Watch your tongue, you little rat. Don't you even dare to speak so disrespectfully about the history of your damn origin. Oh, fuck off, Cory. How should I even react to such bullshit that no one's ever seen? Just because you've never seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's not my fault that I'm the only educated shape who's learned the technique of reading souls. Well, even if it is true, the tree could have just chosen a less lousy place for our birth. Oh, Blixer. You know that the tree would not condemn us to such suffering for no reason. We were born here because we are the ideal species to survive in such conditions. And yet, we're gonna leave these conditions with two little tickets called genocide. Are you sure that this amount is enough for Devil to lag behind us? I'm more than confident that we're following the instructions correctly. Devil still has plenty of worthy followers. Compared to whom we are, just a bunch of scavengers. He won't be bored. Can we take Kudo with us? Blixer, I've told you before. Even if we spend a couple more years collecting ten more souls for him, his group still won't let him go. I know how dear he is to you, but we can't risk it. Then why can't we just eat this junk and kill everyone who bothers us? Lick, sir. For them, he's nothing more than a whore who's been feeding them for a hundred years. Lick, sir. I refuse to leave without him, whether you like it or not. Lick, sir. You know what happens to those who succumb to the temptation of souls. And you know very well that that addiction will cloud your mind so much that you will not be able to distinguish friend from foe. It's hard for me to admit it, but this may be our only chance to get out of here. Whether you like it or not. We can't take Kuta with us, but we can have a small farewell feast at the main gate before we leave. Okay? Fine. He is right. Though those souls give us our power and strength, in return, they take away our sanity. And this is not just another sort of fairy tale that's written on the walls of the caves. I saw it with my own eyes. In the beginning of Pandemonium, one shape gave into temptation absorbed more than ten souls. He became a mindless monster, obsessed with killing and devouring his companions. Before his powers could increase even further, Death gathered an army and defeated the monster, proclaiming himself as the ruler of the city. Since then, our city has prospered under a new rule. Everyone was obliged to benefit from the be killed. And if you want to leave forever, I still doubt the devil will pat us on the shoulder and roll out the red carpet to the exit. If this plan fails, I'll kill me before he does. I know, Blix. Glad to see you in good health, boss. Cuda! You allow these bastards to treat you like a bag of shit again? You know how much that pisses me off! Uh, don't exaggerate, boss. I'm already used to these petty troubles, you know? Besides, they definitely won't kill me or deprive me of my vital organs. I'm fine. I, uh... Soon today, you and Master Cory will finally leave Pandemonium. It would be nicer to say goodbye on a pleasant note, don't you think? We'll have a feast before leaving. In our cave. You will come. What? But, boss, I'm... 
I'm not worthy of such honors. I hardly helped you with the extraction of the souls, and I'm not even a member of your group. Listen, get your ass over here now. We're having an important meeting. In a minute! That wasn't a fucking request. That's an order. You will be there. You're too kind, boss. Anthony, it's me, Kuda. Is my order ready? Hi, Kuda. Could you wait a bit? I'm busy here, but your order is ready. Make yourself at home, but not too much. Oh, Jesus! Bob, bring me a towel. I can't believe it. Hiding my product in their stomach and thinking it was a good idea? Just added extra work for me, asshole. Kuda, my most charming client. Long time no see. Here you go, standard set. Enough for ten hours. Thanks, Anthony. Ain't you gonna check? Uh, not necessary. Please, prepare a larger set for next week. Sure thing. Why the long face? What do you mean? It's my regular face. Come on. We've known each other for more than a hundred years. I already know the difference between your normal and gloomy face. Spill it. <sighs> I came to break the contract regarding my boss. You mean Blixer? Is that so? Although, I have already collected enough material about him to not regret it. You guys made good money from this. Let's see. Last time I compiled a report on all the experiments he underwent and their results. I found out that his body has amazing properties regarding recovery and adaptation to certain external stimuli. For example, about 50 years of shock therapy, limb trauma, poison tests of varying degrees, and regular blood donation at this moment are no worse for him than a bruise on the knee. And I haven't yet mentioned his blood, which is capable of rearranging DNA to match someone else's, as of copying its qualities. I also decided to take notes on Corey's ramblings, given that most of his information matched mine. The soul does indeed cause addiction and partial clouding of the mind, but it helps to enhance the strength of the wearer's body and provokes mutation. However, the theory that others shapes memories that the soul contains are the cause of madness is still a mystery to me. Just like the fact that over time, the soul loses these memories far from the source until it completely becomes an empty shell of energy. Mm, I had no idea you were so interested in the tales behind this madman. Every empowered genius started his career as a madman. There's no shame in that. Well, neither Blixer nor Cory will have to deal with society anymore after they leave Pandemonium. They'll probably find better things to do outside. Kuda, leaving Pandemonium means dying. What? It doesn't matter what Prince Devil offers you. He invented this custom only for his own benefit and amusement. Of course, no one was interested in how those who decided to leave were doing, because no one cares about each other in this city. No one is waiting for letters, guests, or gifts. The fact remains, Devil will never let anyone go. And this is where we are going to end. It's over for me, Chapter 3. What a journey. So many new characters, so many backstories, and the introduction to a new, suspicious, scary-looking character. And thank you guys for watching It's Over For Me, Chapter 3. And I want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to Trina Duhart for being the voice behind Anthony, an amazing new voice actress on the channel. I did happen to commission her through Fiverr, but she did a phenomenal job with Anthony's 
voice. Absolutely blown away. Love the work. And I'm super excited to be working with her more in the future. Hopefully she comes back for future projects because I love her voice and I want to keep her on the channel. But with that being said, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed part three, chapter three of It's Over For Me. We've got a whole lot more story to explore and a whole lot more to get into. So stay tuned in the future. And don't forget to check out Vine Bunny in the description down below. I'm not the artist. I am just the dubber for the 100 millionth time. So for those of you guys that want more of the comic, go to Vine Bunny's DeviantArt and Twitter in the description down below. I love you guys. Thank you all for tuning in every single day, and I'll see you all next month with another comic dub. Pokey Tom is out. Stay awesome, guys.